Oh, what is going on? It is the fat man with the plan, the Frogger man, coming live from Atlas, private alpha tribe server. Yeah, man. Anyways, check it out. I recorded this video and all my sound is gone. So I am dubbing this over. Why? Because I decided I'm going to have a little real talk with y'all after I kill this thing. Stab, 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 stab. Rah! All right, so I wanted to explain to you in detail on why this is probably one of the more amazing games that's going to come out this year. All it has to do with the server system they decided to create from the ground up in house. All right, so let me start breaking it down for you. The way this thing works is absolutely insane. So it's gonna consist of a main server, expansion servers, and a home server. So the way it works is with the main server, you only adjust the files, load the mods on one server. Now, the cool part about this is, is you get a, a key for that server and you can actually get together with your friends all around the country. Your friends can have little bits and pieces of their own server for the map and all connect together as an expansive universe. And you only have to set the settings in one place. This opens the door to something huge and amazing. I mean, think about this. So you basically get to put together like Legos. They all snap together in place, right? And you just, oh, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Also, you can download a program that will allow you to design your entire map. You can put a, a map editor in. They, they already have the program available and you can design the entire world any way you choose. I mean, this is absolutely incredible, guys. Like, I, I can't even explain. But anyways, let me get back to it. So the way it works is you're gonna need a home server. The home server is where you guys have an entry and exit point to the server. And then here comes in the old expansive server, right? And uh, those are the ones that make the grid. The entire grid consists of 15 servers all together. So you got your home server, your main server, and then the rest are all expansion servers. I'm telling you, this thing is gigantic. And unfortunately, it, 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 it's so crazy and complicated that it's been causing a little bit of trouble, but I, I'm, I'm going to come out in defense of this game because one, they're doing something new that nobody else has done before, which man, I mean, look, you know, when art came out, remember that feeling? Remember when you tamed your first dino? You know what I'm saying? You, you remember, remember how that felt? And you know, so you're, you're gonna get this whole unique system, this giant grid of a, a massive area that's gonna take anywhere from months or years to even see the entire thing. That is amazing. And then you throw the best parts. You know, a lot of people are into, oh, it's ARC 2.2, ARC 2.0, ARC. What is wrong with ARC? We love Ark. Calling it Ark Point Two or Ark Ark Two is not really an insult. Ark needed a new, new something refreshing to it. It needed something different. Remember some of those amazing maps, me, D Mac, all the rest of YouTubers record on. Think about the mods that are coming out, and those things can be made little islands of all these amazing maps put together on a grid. Think about, think about that. How amazing is this game going to be? There's going to be crazy maps for, for just the islands. All custom mod islands. There's going to be custom mod creatures. And, and you, you're you going to be able to seamlessly go through this endless world that possibly you'll never even get to see everything. And the mechanics, man. The mechanics, I got to tell you. Yeah, it is reminiscent of Ark. Wildcard, the, the main people from Wildcard went to Grape Shot and made a different game. 
and and of course they're staying true to to you know what what they know works you know and it's on an upgraded engine which i'm extremely happy about i mean look at look right now it's running great you know they they have this this cool little like leveling system now where as you level up you know as of right now i can only level up so far because once you get to a certain level, they force you to have to go and explore, to go to another free port. Man, this game is fun already. You know, I can't wait to get started on it. I mean, there's just so much more to this game. And I think once, you know, they, they drop the stuff and people start realizing what you can do, there's going to be some amazing modded private servers out there. And this thing will be massive. Because, you know, it, you're sharing the load with everybody. Ooh, I kill a chicken! You, you can handle a lot more. You can do a lot more crazy things. Or, if you got a crazy enough daddy box, you can just do the whole thing yourself. Share it with friends. But, you know, it's not really that complicated because with the master server, that, that sets all the settings. You don't have to mess with nothing else. That's incredible. I'm telling you, as somebody who's been running the servers for, for everybody and, and the community, and I mean, this makes life so much easier. And you know, with, with, with something, oh yeah, here's where I'm dying. I, I'm a, unfortunately gonna have to end up just dying because I really don't know what I'm doing. If you guys saw it in any other video, um, I'm losing health, I, I've been eating, I, uh, I, uh, you know, I even went and got water. It didn't seem to work for me, though, because I got that little blue down arrow. I don't really understand what's happening, to be honest. But, yeah, so they took all the best parts of, of ARC, and then they redesigned a lot of the stuff, too. So you get a much, you get a different, cleaner, and newer experience. Yeah, you know, there's a lot of familiarities, you know, that's going to be with this game compared to, to, uh, to art. But man, this is what, this is what was needed. You know, you can only take a game so far. And that's not saying that, that art's dying. I love art. You guys love art. That's why you guys watch my channel, most of you. I mean, we're never going to stop playing ARK. ARK's amazing. But I'm really looking forward to seeing the future of what this game has in store. And yeah, it's a rough start. Absolutely, they had a rough start. But when you think about the system that they created, this isn't like something they downloaded or or got using like, like, like uh, uh, MMOs or anything else. This is something they created. I mean, you can... The, the grids are so large that, you know, you could just... You could set up a single server and still have lots to do. Or you could make the entire world. I mean, it's, it's actually endless, the possibilities of everything that's going on right now. I mean, I like the building system. You know, they impl implemented all the new upgrades to it. I really like that. I like the... Uh, the, the leveling system, I think that's fresh and new, and it feels really good. Like, I got to screw around with this for a little while last night, because, you know, I was trying to get everything ready for DMAC and Riot, and, you know, I'm trying to get everything good to go, and I got to play around quite a bit with everything. I got to teach myself and learn on, on, on the mechanics and everything of the servers, and, man, like, it opened my eyes to a whole new world. A whole new world with endless islands and crazy mods. It's going to be amazing. I'm not going to sing, guys. I promise I won't. I promise I, I won't do it. I won't do it. But, man, just think. Just think of all the amazing stuff that comes from this game. If you aren't as excited now as I am, man, what's wrong with you? This game's gonna be epic. You gotta give it a chance. Don't listen to the haters. Oh, and they got me. So, don't listen to the haters online. 
Just don't. Don't. People just don't understand. You know, people get a game in early access. Remember the downfalls of Ark. When Ark first came out, man, oh boy, was there problems there. But Ark, when it first came out, was still first of its kind, too. There was no other game like Ark. And there's not going to be any other game like Atlas. And I mean, if, if you love art, you're going to love Atlas. Atlas is going to be amazing. I mean, it's not some reskin knockoff. There's a lot more to this game. There's a lot more to this game. There's a lot of creatures to come, mods to come, play styles. I mean, yeah, you know, the, the, right now the servers, man, they're... The public services are a mess. But everybody, the hype train was real with this game. Oh, yeah, if you noticed, I had a hard time building. Um, It doesn't matter because I'm just going to climb this wall. That is what I'm going to do. I got some cool stuff here. Like, watch, check this out. So this is the new uh, grappling hooks. You don't need a gun for it. You just chuck it up there and you can climb up the wall. I'm, I'm still working on figuring it all out. You know, a little bit at a time. Still trying to understand what's going on. The other thing is, is they got the climbing pickaxes. But unlike before, remember in Ark, you would run out of stamina? Well, the cool part about here is even if you're out of stamina, it doesn't just drop you off the wall and not and make you fall on your head. So that, that was super nice. I appreciate that because, man, you know, that, that, that was a little, uh, uh, frustrating for sure but yeah so you know in my my opinion here they they create a monster with this game and i think over time as things improve and people realize the endless possibilities with this game like i see now you know i think everybody just wants to get on and they want to explore and they want to play and i don't blame them i don't blame them they sat here for for a week waiting for this game to come out People sat endless hours looking at the loading screen to this game. You know, but, but they're, 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 they're doing what they need to do. I mean, it's a complicated thing to try to figure out. I mean, technically, the uh, I don't even know any other server companies, but like Nitrado that even got any working servers yet. So, you know, they're still working on that. I mean, this is crazy stuff. Man, this is this is some next level stuff happening with this game. And you know, I already know that mods are already getting ready to be made for this game. And I cannot wait. I cannot wait. Man. I mean, you could like like they weren't kidding in the in the trailer they were showing the tank warfare and stuff like that. I mean, those are just regular assets that are already there. That wasn't even anybody actually using their own creativity to make it. That, those assets were already there and good to go. So just think. Think about it. Think about the possibilities. Think about the entertainment. I cannot. I don't. And see. And so. It might be a while before it makes it to, to Xbox. It might be a while before it makes it. Oh, no. No, 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 no. I forgot I did that. Um, Rip me. Uh, it's all right, though. I got a bit. So that's all that matters. No, but think about this. You know, oh, and, 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 and some of the physics in this game are amazing. When the storms hit and with the water, and man, it's amazing looking. And I, I literally have no complaints so far. Yeah, there's going to be some day one, day two. You know, I mean, even that, even like the first month, there's going to be all kinds of little glitches. But I would ask everybody at this time to sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride. Because this is going to be a game that is worth hanging around for. And, you know, I mean, if I see it, I'm not the only one that sees it. A lot of us see it. And it's something I'm excited to see. Well, guys, hey, you know what? I've talked long enough today. I hope I helped you understand the systems and what's going on and my how I feel about this game. And, uh, you know, if you like my content, guys, hey, don't forget to subscribe. Be part of the Frog Squad. You know, you got to hit that bell icon. I'm going to get some major teams coming up. I'm going to get together with DMAC. We're going to get some stuff out. We got stuff to keep you entertained 
all through Christmas. We still do an ARC series every day. You can see him at uh, Eastern Time. It's 10 a.m. Pacific for me and 1 p.m., I think, Eastern Time for him. Oh, yeah, look at this. See the green? That's the new metal nodes. Anyways, guys, as always, man, I love you guys. Thank you for watching, as always. And I will see you tomorrow.